Hi, welcome back. I'm Tim Aubrey and this is lesson six of DMAS third free QGIS course. And today we're going to look at something a little different. If you remember uh, a couple of weeks ago, we created our aspect raster um, and the aspect raster showed uh, the slope aspect, so the directions that the slope was facing. Uh, and these ran all the way from zero degrees, which is more or less well, which is due north, um, and we had values going all the way around the compass back to 359.9, which is virtually back to north again. Um, and what we're going to look at today is how to reclassify a raster. So, in terms of the raster, we might want to split it into north, east, south, and west. And we could do that in the raster calculator but it would be quite a complicated set of code, um, especially if it's just for a one-off, then there are a couple of other tools built into um, QGIS, which can be really useful. So I'm using the processing toolbox today. Um, if you haven't got it activated already, go to processing and then toolbox. Uh, and then we're gonna come down to raster analysis and use uh, reclassify by table. So reclassify by table. Just double click on that and it will bring up our rasters. So I've already got aspect selected, but if you don't have aspect selected, then make sure you select that as your raster layer. And then we're just going to come down to this bit that says reclassification, reclassification table, which is grayed out at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to come into this and I get this fixed table. So what we've got here is a minimum, a maximum, and then a value. So the minimum and maximum are the current values, um, and the value is the value that we want to um, assign to these new values. So I'm going to click Add Row, uh, and it gives me the option for a row, and I can fill that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from 315 to 360, and assign that the value of one. Now with our north it's a bit more complicated because um, we start um, in the northwest and obviously that's a value of less than 360 but we also continue to the northeast which is obviously going to be a value of more than um, 360 so a value more than zero so we have to set our values from 315 to 360, but then also from 0 to 45. So just for the case in north, because it crosses the 360 where obviously our compass resets. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we have to do these two classifications with the same value. Now, unfortunately, the values as an output have to be uh, numerical values, because ideally we'd just write north here. Um, so I've chosen the value of 1 for uh, the north arrow, uh, so for, so for the northern area, sorry. Um, and then I'm going to work around, so I'm going to do 45 to uh, 135, which is northeast to southeast, and I'm going to give that the value 2. Okay. And because this doesn't cross any any um, any compass boundaries, so like the 360 boundary in the first example, I can just do all of the 90 degrees in one category. Next is 135 uh, to what is it? 225. Is that right? And then 225 to 315 again. So these are just the compass bearings. So I've I've run from northwest to north in the first one, then obviously 360 and zero are the same value uh, around the compass. So I've run from north to northeast, uh, but because the uh, GIS doesn't know that these are compass bearings, it just needs their values, then um, 
I've had to run from north to northeast separately to north to north, uh, northwest to north. Then I've gone round and done northeast to southeast, which I've assigned value two. Southeast to southwest, which I've assigned value three, and um, southwest to northwest, which I've assigned value four. So once I've done that, I can click OK. Um, come down to the bottom of the table and just save to file. I've not made a new file for this, so I'm just going to come down and make a new file. Come into it, and I'm just going to call this aspect reclassify. Save that and hit run. And you can see that we, we get this section here that says what the classes are. So it's saying greater than 315 to equal to 360, greater than zero to equal to 45. So it's adding those to the one category. So this is the sort of code, well, it would be even more advanced than this, but this is the sort of code we'd have to put into uh, our raster calculator. So once I can do that, you can see it's appeared in my layers, so I can hit close. And I've got this new raster. It doesn't look immensely different to my other raster, um, but until we go into our symbology, and in our symbology, we can go from uh, change our render type to single band pseudo color. The categories are already there. So I can just click apply and OK. And now we can see that our I removed the zero category because we don't have any zero values. And now you can see that our orange are our north facing slopes. Um, our blue are our west facing slopes, yellow is the east and the green is the south. Um, so very quickly we've classified our raster into four sections. 